What is up, ladies and gentlemen? D1 Snipes here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a uh, gameplay where I'm playing with Nude and Young Kill, and I think Pigamus is in this game, and I almost dropped 50 kills. I got a couple choppers. Uh, it's pretty exciting to watch, actually. We had a lot of fun playing this. It was actually a really close game, too, so that's why I put it up. Um... So, what I want to bring to you guys today is, uh, along with this gameplay, is, uh, let's talk competitive. Um, what is the competitive community going to do about these game modes and these maps? Um, I've seen a ton of pros coming up with their own rule sets to scrimmage on. So, I... I see Rambo and I see Killa going back and forth about uh, what's good, what's not good for game modes, maps. Um, Parasite's list, I think, was pretty legit. If you see his, uh, if you follow him on Twitter, he came up with a, uh, a list of domination, uh, search and destroy, search and rescue, and uh, blitz maps that could be legitimately used for. Uh, competitive play on land and for the most part I agreed with his list um, I mean it's not there are no good maps and there are no good playlists uh, for this game in my opinion um, I love this game for pubs it's so much fun to get a team of six and just go off on people I mean it's it's almost too easy if you got a team that knows what they're doing, have a little bit of gun skill. But uh, back to competitive. Um, what do you guys think? Search isn't even a game type in the game. So if you want to practice that at all, learn the bomb sites or anything like that, you can't do it. I mean, you just can't. You have to go in by yourself and run it for timing as far as that goes. I mean, it's it's hard to see what you need. So... I really hate that. The fact they took out League Play is just... It baffles me that you wouldn't add that. I mean, even if it was some horrible-ass version of it that you couldn't even play at first, just have it in an update. I mean, that's what made Black Ops 2 League Play. People wanted to get in a competitive game battles. grew like crazy. I mean, it was just so many things made Black Ops great, even though people hated it. For competitive play, the maps being so symmetrical, the weapons, I mean, everything, there became a standard. I mean, that standard is what made competitive play great. Now, when you start trying to do all this other crazy-ass shit, I mean, you do have to take a bold move. You have to, uh, like Black Ops did, you have to take a bold move to do hard point when they said that that was going to be a competitive game type uh people weren't so sure about it but look at how that ended up i mean that ended up being one of the most exciting game types to watch uh it it created a position the anchor nobody i mean nobody had even heard of that until the uh hard point came out so you have all of a sudden you need to uh, get spawns on the side of the map that means nothing up until I mean, a sp the hard point switched. So, I mean, you have an OBJ who is rotating early and finding corners that he needs to hide in to kill people off rotation. Timing, uh, all that game was about was timely kills. If you could get a kill off of rotation and then a kill, the first kill back... I mean, you're getting 20, almost 30 seconds right there if you can get those two kills between a three-on-three three or even a two-on-three. I just it all dep It's all timing and rotation. It was it was great to watch because you saw some huge plays, huge comebacks, huge turn of events with streaks. I mean, just so many things went into play with Hardpoint, and that could happen with Blitz. Uh, I see it being more difficult to make great plays with Blitz. Even though you're going to see a lot of people sneaking around in Blitz. 
That's what I don't like. It's too easy to sneak around. You saw people do it in Black Ops, and you're like, wow. I mean, this is that takes a lot of knowledge of the game. It takes a lot of knowing where everyone else is. But it was extremely hard to do. So only a few players were able to do it. So <clears throat> this is going to be way easier to sneak in. Especially if you only have 4v4 on a couple maps with blitz. People are just going to flank all the way around. Probably not even... They'll use a silencer if they need a kill. So they're just going to kill one guy with a silencer, the guy on defense, and then hop in and get a point. Uh, it's I don't like that. I don't think that you should be able to, to sneak all the way around and pick up a kill like that. And search and destroy... On raid for Black Ops 2, if you people knew that you were going to flank. If people didn't see you for a few seconds or off the break, I mean, you had a general idea where people were. In this game, you're going to have no idea. And this is this is shitty because competitive players, the reason they're so good is because they know where people are. If they don't see you after seven seconds at top bedroom on the water side of raid, then they know that you went middle. Or they know that you went raid if your partner's in the middle. So you went raid. They know you're outside raid. They can either flank or attack from middle. I mean, that that's why they're pros. That's why they're good. Now, if they don't know where people are, then that's just like everybody else. They don't know where the enemy team is. They're not sure. There's so many other places they could be. Now, some people would argue, wait, this is a great thing. This gives an opportunity for other players to become good, become pro, or be way more competitive with pros. I disagree with that. I think learning the game and knowing the game is, it should be more, more about learning the game and knowing what to do in certain situations than random gun and skill and luck. That's what I think it should be. If you're that dedicated to learn the game, learn the spawns, learn what to do, when, then that's that's how you get good. That's how you get to where those guys are. Not by sneaking around with a silencer all the way around the map, killing one guy in the back, and then jumping in for a point. I don't think that's how matches should be won. Um, but you guys let me know what you think about that, honestly. Because I would really really like to hear different opinions on this from other uh, competitive players. Um, I'm trying to get into the scene, so it's not... I've learned a ton in the last year about competitive Call of Duty, and it's it's about knowing the game. It's not about uh, blind luck. It's You really need to work at it and learn the game. That's, that's why those guys are, are where they are. And um, not having four-on-four -four playlists like League Play. I mean, there's the team tactical, but I don't think that's anything in comparison to uh, what League Play was. And hopefully, if they do get a playlist like this, they keep it updated. They don't just leave it in the dark. League Play was updated all the time with playlists and rule sets and all kinds of stuff. Um, for people that play lead play early, they know what I'm talking about. But people that played it in the last few months, it was pretty, it was pretty standard. Everything that you played and all the maps, rule sets, weapons. Um, what do you guys think about the submachine gun ARs? I watched a couple of these uh, teams scrim, and nobody ran ARs. Um. They act more as a submachine gun than ever before. So now you have uh, one guy maybe running the uh, marksman classes, and then you have three assault rifles with maybe one sub. Maybe. And that's only if they got ballsy. Honestly, I didn't see anybody running sub in the last two scrims that I watched. So, I mean, if you guys see anybody doing that, let me know. Let me, I want to know who's running a sub. I want to watch them and see what they do and what like what their mindset is because you die so fast in this game that it's 
so incredibly hard to run a sub. You need to know where all the cover is. Your timing's got to be perfect on just about everything. So, that's another thing that's going to be huge is weapon selection. I haven't got to play around with a ton of weapons yet. So, I'm not going to give... I'm not going to get into that very much. Just because I'm not uh, into it. As you can see, I'm running an ACOG silencer right here. I mean, it's, it's doing work for me. I almost get 50 kills. So, I mean, it's... I don't know. The selection is going to be big. And then, um, speaking of that uh, kill streak right there, what kill streaks do you guys think will be banned, if any, in this one? Because uh, these are these are kind of odd kill streaks. Uh, some are really useful. Some much less, I think. But I don't know how to work in a four v four. I don't know. All that would do in a domination, a search and rescue, that kind of stuff. I mean, it's it's really hard to tell. I'm really excited to see how this fleshes out because at first I was really, uh, really scared to where this game was going to go. And it's, it's growing on me. Renewed told me the other, or no, it was actually just yesterday. To just give it some time, uh, play it. Since the update, it's gotten better. You got a little bit more health to work with. And, uh... Like he said, I mean, it's, it is growing on me. Renewed got me to play it tonight. We played with a group, and we ended up doing really well. So it is growing on me, but the idea of playing domination for competitive play, especially 4-on-4, four 6-on-6 four, six six domination with pros uh, could get crazy. I could see that being kind of wild. But if they stick with 4v4, um, I can't even imagine... I, I, I have no idea what that would play like. Um, search and destroy. This search and destroy. That's going to be game mode for a long time, I think. And then taking out capture the flag, just kind of, I don't know, the most pure form of competition in paintball, video games, just anything. Uh, it's really baffled me that they took that out. Hard point I could see, because it's not their thing. But CTF really surprised me. Um, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, you guys have a great night.